Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's gonna be a quick video today. Let's talk about why I left the church. So I used to be basically like a helper and I used to work in the church and then I became a Bible study teacher, so a Bible school teacher. So while I was doing this, I was really hurt. I was alcoholic. Um, I used to walk by the church. It was a universal church in Brooklyn. So in case y'all wanna know. And I used to basically, I was in a dark place and I had just lost my twin boys. And this was in like 2011. So I was devastated and I was trying to kill myself. So I did a video on that already, but I was an alcoholic and that's what led me to the church. So I kept walking by crying every day. And then one day, like this lady asked me like, what's wrong? And I was in such a daze. I didn't even know she was talking to me. So I kept walking and walking and walking. And she literally followed me <laughs> like to the end of the corner and was talking to me all the while I was like in a daze. So yeah, you could tell like, that's how, that's how heavy the demons could be on you. You don't even hear people talking to you like, but either way so i was heavy in the church like i was trying to help out at this time i wasn't working i was living in the projects and i was getting i wasn't even getting help like public assistance i was going off my savings at this time so there was nobody to help me i, I didn't have a boyfriend because obviously my ex had cheated and he got an std from this dirty girl this dusty thing that he wanted that's what he liked so that's what he deserved you understand but then he gave it to me while I was pregnant. So, see how God works in mysterious ways. Um, it's not always the devil. People are saying Satan. No, it's God teaching you lessons. If I would have stayed with this guy, I would have been a bum. I would have been a loser. I would have. I would have been weak my whole life. I would have basically not have been able to fulfill my destiny. You understand? I wouldn't have been on this journey. I wouldn't have been able to have self-love. I wouldn't have broken the chains that my family had, the bondages that they placed on me, the black magic. I wouldn't have been able to break out of it. I wouldn't have been able to wake up, basically, and realize what they were doing to me, why everything was happening, why I was going through what I was going through. It was, it was only to wake me up to realize like this is your destiny this is not this is not even your family we just put you here so you could wake up you understand like because you're so strong we put you with weaklings so wake up hello yeah let that sizzle in your soul hunty so like i was saying let me pull in because i'm driving so basically oh y'all can't even see me <laughs> so basically I got into the church, I started helping and the bishops and I got um, baptized and I was trying so hard to be an assistant. So not knowing that I didn't have to try, I didn't have to do all that stuff. You were selected, like, you know what? God selects you to do these things. So I was bringing in souls, saving souls. My friends will tell you, well, people I associated with, cause I can't say friends because when I was down, none of these people that I helped ever asked me if I needed help. They never, they never did. And I know they probably watching, they never did. And I'm not the kind of person to hold grudges. So I just wish them well. But I would go hard for my friends. Like for their birthday, I would go make Hennessy bottles with their names on it. I would go and for my birthday, sheer. <laughs> I can't even tell you what I got because I ain't getting nothing really. I ain't even get a card. But it's all good. So that's to show you like you need to you need to pay attention to the people you keep around you because half of them they don't have you they just there for what they could do what they could how they could use you what they could get out of you that's what they there for and you have to learn and see and differentiate what you want and what you deserve you have to know your worth and because i didn't and i was so focused on the outside world and wanting to be accepted i let all that crap get to me but anyway reason i left the church so i got baptized and then i met this guy and he basically was was the opposite of what I was and he was trying to like to me he was like trying to seduce me like out of the church you know like how back in the Ten Commandments basically all the people was worshiping false idols and they was all drinking and dancing and getting naked having sex and doing all this stuff and then God came down and God sent Moses down with the Ten Commandments smashed it and blew up all this stuff basically right so now they were tormented uh, for the rest of the eternity but 
that's neither here nor there. So people in the church were sleeping with each other. They had married people sleeping with each other. And I was basically there to follow the rules. And people was there like worshiping the bishops and all that. Like they was like God, but they're not. Because the pastors were sleeping with the the congregation and then i was messing around with one of the pastors it was just crazy because it was like drama and like nobody knew like nobody knew now they know but these are the things that people do behind the scenes in the church that's why they say that the church is the first place to get burnt to get judged to get demolished like hello first of all it's a building let me tell you church is in your heart church god is in us we are in god's like right hello we're all like anyway whew, i'm not even gonna get into it so anyway now what i'm trying to say is i was so focused on trying to be accepted that i was falling in this illusion so the bishop told me he called me to the office and was like oh he wants me to read only certain chapters in the bible and i was like wait what and he was like, oh, I can't talk to him and tell him because a woman's place is not to tell him what, like, what I think. Hold up, my what? So all the other women were basically brainwashed. Like, so you're basically following the man and you're going to follow him all the way to hell. Because, one, a man is not God. And when people praise man, that's when they basically sell in their souls. So it's... I'm not doing that. So I had, to, like, I was telling him, like, I had my goddaughter going there. And I'm like, I don't want to teach her only about the parts in the Bible that you're sacrificing. Like, they made me, they was like, give your rent, give this, and you'll get back that. They had these videos you watched on TV every Sunday. Like, oh, people giving away their lives. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you go to church, don't. I used to walk to church because I didn't have a car this time. And I had holes in my vans and my skippies. And I was like, oh, I'm going to save souls. And I'm going to do this. I used to cry at night because i'm like why this stuff is not happening to me like why these things these videos not happening to me how come i'm not getting my blessing how come i'm not but no all the while god was trying to show me open your eyes you're trying to look for material things meanwhile you're my child i am here like I, I didn't have rent to pay i didn't have to pay no bills i didn't have nothing like i had life i had health so it was like i was looking for stuff outside of me meanwhile i should have been looking for the love that i had inside of me that god put in me because we are all made of love that's why you love children right because children are innocent right but you're innocent also we come here and we get like program to be like this nasty to get programmed to be to have fear to have hate no that's why you say a kid learns hate you teach them that people teach them don't teach your kids that don't just fall out of that you need to reprogram your subconscious like start looking up on youtube reprogramming my subconscious and let me tell you if you do it for 28 days you you would totally reprogram your mind and not be thinking like these like peasant people like what no thinking a lack like no like you're a god a part of god's crew like you're his child officially it doesn't even matter you don't have to you don't have to be with these people that treat you like dirt like garbage that's what they're there for to make you wake up and realize this is not what you deserve you deserve better if if an empath is with a narcissist, it's because she has to, or he, because empaths are men. You ever meet a sensitive man that cares and loves? Yes, he's an empath. Everyone is born, like, different. So don't try to be, like, the next person, for real, because the next person is nasty. Meanwhile, you have a best friend, and she hates you. Like, she hates you because she can't be you. She got everything that you don't have, but she hates you. Why? Because you're pure, and she's evil evil she or he they're evil and wicked and they're gonna burn and you won't and that's why they're mad because they know that anything you do even if you're good you're once your heart is pure and light as a feather when you get judged you're gonna basically live in your fantasy like like people people say you're gonna be in purgatory and be in hell yeah the people that suffer basically they relive we keep reliving the same life that they had that's horrible that the things they did to people it comes back that's what karma is so i had to leave the church because i wasn't going to be controlled by no man and i don't follow no man and that's why i left 
And I didn't leave and say I hate God because I always love God. Even when I was leaving, I told the people there. And the girls, the young girls, they started having babies after I left. They started sleeping. They said don't have sex before marriage. But they was all like committing adultery and everyone was talking about everyone it's just a gossip thing i was like look this is not for me this is worse than high school and in high school i was a virgin like what no no i can't even i can't even deal i was a virgin up until i got raped so you see like people never know what's going on with somebody like do you, this church stuff please i had to go because if i never went i wouldn't be this beautiful queen i am today so I just want to tell y'all, be the reason someone smiles today. Namaste, and y'all stay healthy, wealthy, and blessed always and protected. Protect yourself and protect your energy. These people out here is crazy. This world is an assembly. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next video. Let me go to Dunkin'.